What's up, wax friends? Today I'm filming my empties for the month of May. So this includes items that are not Scentsy. If you want to see my Scentsy video, I have already posted that earlier this week. So I finished up two retail clamshells. I finished up a Hello Sunshine clamshell. This is a very bright, like citrusy, fruity kind of a little bit floral blend. This is really pleasant. I'll put the notes below. I actually looked it up, so I'll put those below. And I finished up a value pack, an older style packaging of Vanilla Cookie Crunch. This is good to add to things, to just switch them up. It's not a favorite of mine, but I'm just working through older ones that I have. So I have a chopped up Vanilla Bean Marshmallow Bath and Body Works candle bag that I finally finished up. I love this scent, so I was kind of hoarding it, but I hopefully will buy another candle, maybe chop it up. Because this one does perform nicely for me. I do enjoy it. Especially in bedrooms, it's really soothing and relaxing, this kind of scent for me. All right, so for vendor wax, I finished up from Hayden Rowe a clamshell in Buddy. This one has notes of cookie dough, cream, sugar, frosting, and oatmeal. This was on the lighter side. I would say a light scent. I tried it in my bedroom. I tried it because I do like bakery scents in my bedroom. And I tried it in my open layout and in very hot warmers. It was just a light kind of gentle, sweet kind of doughy bakery scent, vanilla based in nature. Not a repurchase, but I just wish it was a bit stronger. I have shorts and sweater. This one was nice. Clean laundry scent with mild notes of citrus, floral, blonde, wood, and musk. This was a sample. It was nice and thick. So I think I cut it in half and put each half in my kid's bathroom on each side of their sink. sink. They have a mini warmer, it performed fairly well in there. It wasn't a boomer, but it, and it wasn't super long lasting, but I, I really did enjoy it. So I have a lot of a lot from L3 Waxy Wonders because I did kind of go through a buying <laughs> buying stage. Going in my TV room right now, I have Vanilla Birch Santal Purple Sandalwood. This was really pretty, but it's kind of light, and maybe it's because it's too big of a space. But um, and it's just a small sample. Probably not a repurchase for me. Green Clover and Aloe. I had this going in the bathroom. There's something a little bit sharp about it, so probably the clover. Performed very well, but not a repurchase for me. Over and Look Hotel. A lot of these are samples. This one's from my friend Shannon. Cider Lane Toasted Marshmallow and Smoky Fireside. This was nice. It wasn't as strong as I was expecting. A lot of things with Cider Lane are usually very strong, but this was kind of on the, the soft to medium side. And then I have Concerts at the State County Fair from Shannon. It says fried Twinkies, cotton candy, and kettle corn. Just the kettle corn is the only note that kind of was off-putting for me. I'm just not a kettle corn kind of girl in life, uh, like to eat or in wax. A lot of people do really like those, those kettle corn notes. There's no need to fear. I have a heart here and, and I don't even know why I love this one, but I do. Birthday cake, pineapple, and amaretto. And on cold step, it was very strong. And there's that amaretto note was really strong. And I was like, boo. Anyway, it was, it went in the warmer and I would say like maybe an hour later, it's almost like something kind of left. And maybe I was left with the pineapple and birthday cake. And I love this. I put a heart. So I would like to pick up more of this one. So that one is, there's no need to fear. So I'm going to have to mentally remember that. If I ever see it, maybe I'll grab it. Cashmere Cedar, today is October 3rd from Shannon. She sent me up a little package a few times. So this is in one of them. And I'm trying to go through some of my friend mail um, and give that priority right now. So this is, I think I like regular, today is October 3rd better, but this is almost like that cashmere spin on it. So it does work really well with that. And it was a, it, it performed just fine. I have Dreamsicle, which is in a trig tart. This is just like what you would expect and performance was about medium. I have Orange Sherbert. I forget which one I liked better. I kind of went through a stage where I was killing everything creamy orange. And now of course I'm like, oh, <laughs> I think I like the Dreamsicle one better. But uh, yeah, I think I'll pass on both just because I'm, I'm burnt out <laughs> on them. Um, just yesterday I finished Sugar Cookie Royale. This is a very rich, buttery, like sugar cookie dough almost kind of tone in my big layout this performed like a champ like uh didn't last a really long time but but it really was good for a like bakery vanilla kind of scent i have espresso cinnamon sugar today is october 3rd this is a really nice variation of a coffee scent so i don't know if i'd buy it again because probably one was enough but I, I did enjoy it it was like a nice spin i have caress type from l3 this is caress is a soap i have it written down it was light to medium and very short duration. So I was kind of surprised this wasn't stronger for me. So there you go. And this was probably one of the highlights of 
the month. And I remember thinking back, I do watch Nicole Perry and I think this is one that she talks about and I'm like, there's good reason. It's roasted coffee, pumpkin pecan waffles and sugar cookie royale. And I'm not really even a pumpkin pecan waffles kind of person, but with that coffee, OMG. And I actually prefer it at the beginning when you can smell the coffee because as the coffee leaves, you're left with pumpkin pe pecan waffles and sugar cookie royale, which I don't enjoy as much, but I would definitely repurchase this. I put a little heart because I like it. Well, let's do Sassy Girl Aroma. I have Twinkling Star. <laughs> I dislike this so much. I, I'd probably say I almost hated this one. Yeah, it was too cologne too it, like warm, amber, musky, bleh. Nope. I really dislike that one. Hopefully, well, I was going to say, hopefully, if you've tried it, you don't dislike it. But hopefully you haven't tried it because it's not very good, in my opinion. A soothing Latte. I, I have a hard time remembering this because I think I warmed it towards the beginning of the month. It says Caramel Latte, Sweet Lavender, and Birthday Cake. It was it was just okay. I'm not a big lavender person, so I can pass on that. I'm just going to put that this one aside so I can... I usually I just keep these and then I, I put them in a little pile. Some people take phones of the, uh, pictures of the ones they like with their phone. Uh, frosted lemon cookies. I finished this up yesterday, and this I put this in my main area. It, it was about a, a medium at most, and it just smelled like a lemony cookie. It, it, it says here, fresh from the oven, sugar cookies, frosted with a sugary lemon frosting. I didn't really get a lot of the sugary lemon frosting. I have from my friend Shannon a sam. Um, she gave me some a rolling pin from March of 2022, from Sassy Girl Aroma, pumpkin pecan waffle, sugar cookie dough, birthday cake. My husband was downstairs and he called me down. He said, I'm just wondering, am I smelling wax right now or are you baking something that's delicious? And I said, it's the wax. And he's like, can we get more? And I said, it's not scentsy. And he's like, oh, <laughs> so he loved this. So Shannon, my husband really loved that. So thank you so much. And also from Shannon, she sent me some sawdust days and I actually had purchased sawdust days at the same time in one of those chunky souffle things she does so the notes they're really small caramel apple cotton candy salted brown sugar vanilla and kettle corn so again I really like this but just not the kettle corn portion but it was very very strong you can smell that apple very very strong a sweetness and performed extremely well in my big area from scoopable tart wax I did a mystery um, I don't know. I, I did a few of them. My friend Shannon um, sent them up to me. Thank you, Shannon. Uh, this was in there. Vanilla sandalwood lavender smoothie. This is not a Patricia kind of scent, but I did finish it up. I usually finish up things I don't like first. So yeah, there's lavender and you get the sandalwood and a little bit, tiny bit of creaminess. So I warmed this uh, in the kid's bathroom. I warmed it in Erica's room, Ryan's room. I even warmed it in the garage <laughs> just to kind of finish that one off. Her wax does perform fairly well though, for me. Um, from Teddy Bees, this was a really, really good scent. I'd probably put a little heart on it as well. Tiff's favorite bakery. This is one of my favorites for the month. Blackberry jam, vanilla shortbread cookies, brown sugar and waffle cone. This is from October of 2021. It performed very well. And um, Catherine King sent that up to me on a D stash that took its little tour around California and it still performed well. So I'm, I'm happy about that. So just to finish, it off, I have three items from Ella After, all from my friend Patrice. So this one here is Devil and All His Works. It says sugared apple, apple spelt wrong, fresh cut grass, and cotton candy. This one was really nice, but it wasn't as strong as I was expecting. It was like a light to medium. So then I have Labyrinth of Winds, which is sugar lavender and beechwood vetiver. And I just finished telling you I don't really like lavender, but something about this, I really, really, really liked this. So I would probably, if I did buy from Ella after, I'd probably pick some up. So that was really nice. I warmed it in my laundry room. It was really, really good there. Indulgent Soul. This one I have written down light. It says Palo Santo, Old Town Bake Shop, and Campfire Marshmallow. So I remember liking it, but it was too light and it made me a little sad. So yeah, I had a pretty good month. Um, if you're watching this video, I'm going to post it later in the week of the first week of June, but keep your, um, keep health facts in your prayers. We are experiencing um, fires that have damaged. At this stage, uh, when I filmed this, it's May 31st. We, we know there's 151 homes lost, 151. And um, some of the areas evacuated are like where I used to work, 
where my doctor's office is, um, where I take my daughter to go skating, that's evacuated. Like, so it's, it's, it's kind of, we're kind of out of it a bit, but, but we're still on edge here and we're just praying that there's no more destruction and we're praying for rain. And anyway, keep us in, in your prayers. Hopefully when you're watching this video, maybe if things are doing well, I'll put down in the pinned comment. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. It's giving me a distraction to film it. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.